What's up gamers, this is your boy DaleJackson06 and today I thought we'd try something a little bit different. I don't really share many personal facts about myself on this channel, so today I thought I'd change that. I'm going to show you guys my favorite sedimentary rock formation, Shale. Now don't be alarmed, I always use an incognito tab when uh, when exploring my self-indulgent pleasures, as anyone does really, so that's the only reason why. Yeah, this is some good stuff. So in case you don't know what shale is, I'll use Wikipedia's very succinct and clear definition here. Shale is a fine-grained, clastic sedimentary rock composed of mud that is a mix of flakes of clay minerals and tiny fragments of other minerals, especially quartz and calcite. Shale is characterized by breaks along thin laminae, or parallel layering or bedding less than one centimeter in thickness, called facility. So, essentially what it's saying is, it's a fine-grained, sedimentary rock. Plastic, of course, and man, I just, I just love shale. I mean, look at this stuff, the patterns. It's, uh, you can get some that look like this, so it's more of a layered situation. Now this is more natural shale, this is oil shale, and that's some good stuff right there. Let's see. Now, I see, I see here, uh, slate shale. But... If you look, slate is actually an entirely different stone. Very similar in form, and it looks very similar, but it's just, it can't compare, honestly. Now if you're as big of a fan of shale as I am, you might have heard of some of these formations, such as the Marcellus Formation, the Bakken Formation, the Fayetteville Shale, Utica Shale, New Albany Shale, Antrim Shale, Montney Formation, Duvernay Formation, Manco Shale, Burgess Shale, Berea Sandstone, Chattanooga Shale, Green River Formation, Rochester Shale, Alum Shale Formation, Bedford Shale, Posidonia Shale, Cleveland Shale, and Wheeler Shale. All classic examples, of course. Uh, my favorite has to be the Alum Shale Formation because it's the only one that includes both the words shale and formation, if you look. So, that's pretty exciting. It's a Utica dialect. Ah, here we go. Shale is distinguished from other mudstones because it is fissile and laminated. Fissile meaning containing fissures. Here we go, what depositional environment does shale form in? Shale forms in an environment that consists of calm water, for example, water near the shores of large lakes or continental shelves at sea edges. The calmness of the water allows suspended particles like clay to eventually sink in and settle to the bottom of the lake or sea. Nice. The process in the rock cycle which forms shale is called compaction. Good to know. I mean, if you can't tell already why shale is one of my favorite minerals, it's just... I mean, look at it. It's, it's shaley, for lack of a better word. It's very shale-like, and I'm a big fan. Uses, ooh, hold on. Now, I haven't really seen shale used much aside from floor tiling, but... Well, it has used my location to put in my actual zip code, so future me will have to blur that out, but I just, I love the, uh, I love what they did with this ad. It's, it's inspiring. Shales characteristically contain fine-grained silt and clay particles, less than 0 0.063 millimeters. They are therefore classified as silty shale or clay shale, depending on whether silts or clay dominate in the constituents of the rock. Silty shale and clay shale may collectively be called argillaceous shales. Occasionally, shales may also contain appreciable amounts of sands, in which case they may be called sandy shale or arenaceous shale. I'm looking for uses of shale, well that's the whole reason I came on this infested website. Here we go. Shale has many commercial uses. It is a source material in the ceramics industry to make brick, tile, and pottery. Shale used to make pottery and building materials requires little processing besides crushing and mixing with water. Shale is crushed and heated with limestone to make cement for the construction industry. Heating drives off water and breaks limestone into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is lost as a gas, which it is, leaving calcium oxide and clay, which hardens when mixed with water and allowed to dry. The petroleum industry uses fracking to extract oil and natural gas from oil shale. Fracking involves injection of liquid at high pressure into the rock to force out the organic molecules. Typically, high temperatures and special solvents are needed to extract the hydrocarbons, leading to waste products that raise concerns about environmental impact. We're not even talking about architectural shale. I'm disappointed to say the least. That doesn't look like shale.
Please don't tell me I've, I've been thinking of Slate this whole time. No, no, I... Oh. I've, uh... I've been, I've been thinking of Slate. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's gonna, do, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed and subscribe for more like this. Make sure you, make sure you drop a like for this very informative video on the wrong mineral. And I'll see all you guys next time.